know this might not be the best intro, but you're going to have to trust me when I tell you this is going to be an amazing video, guys. Um, I'm going to show you how to basically win every single coin flip you do with your friend, or in real life, or on a video game, or whatever. So, we're going to be looking at basically how probability works. So I'm just going to go ahead and get myself a little notepad here. Just to show you, so the first time we flip a coin, let's just say that I'm doing it with the same person and I'm betting the same thing. So I'm flipping it with the computer um, and I'm betting for heads, okay? So the first uh, time that we do a coin flip, the chances of winning are going to be 50-50, right? The second time I do a coin flip, um, if I lose... This one, if I lose the first coin flip, the second time, there's going to be a 75, um, there's going to be a 75% chance of me winning and a 25% chance of me losing. And if I do make that 25% chance and lose that one, I'm going to have, um, 87.5% chance of losing and, um, a 12.5% chance, or 5% chance, 12.5% chance of losing, and 87.5% chance of winning, and hypothetically, this is never going to happen, probably, but if you do lose three in a row, um, the next one is going to be something like 96, no, 94.25, or something like that, and then the chances of winning are going to be about 6.2075. But that doesn't really matter. We're never going to really run into that usually. So, the way this works is um, if you lose a coin flip once, if you do a 50-50% chance, um, the first time it's going to be 50-50 because you both just, you haven't flipped a coin, it's going to be 50-50. But if I lose one, it's kind of like working off this idea where basically, what are the chances of losing 10 times in a row? Well, that's kind of what we're working on. Um, and you can pretty much rig a coin flip. So let's say we're flipping for tail. Let's say we're flipping for heads, okay? So we get tails. Tails. Now, according to the probability law, we're going to get heads this next time. Yes, heads, indeed. Now we're going to reflip it. Tails. Tails. And this is going to be heads, according to the probability law, as I can said. As I said, you can basically predict uh, probability like this. So, you can adapt this. Uh, this is the basic idea. Um, you can keep going on and on and be... Okay, <laughs> I'm talking too much here. If you th think of it this way, okay? If you win once... That's great, but you're probably not going to lose it. You're probably not going to win next time, okay? If you win next time, there's definitely a good chance you're going to win. You're going to lose the next time, and so on and so forth. So we're using this to basically predict what we're, what the outcome is going to be. So if you flip a coin three times before your friend, before your you and your friend do your coin flip, if you flip a coin three times and lose then do it with him, there's a very big chance, there's a very big chance that you are going to win, guaranteed, right? So, um, I've tested this a lot, I've gotten rich on games because of this, um, exploiting different gambling systems and stuff like that, so that's that, but, um, I just wanted to explain that, so, there's a small chance that you could lose, obviously, heads, the next one, there's a good chance it can be tails, yeah, you know, called it. Um, heads, tails, heads, heads, the next one's going to be tails, you know, you get the point. So, anyway, thank you for watching, um, I hope this video was cool, this was just a little interesting thing I've had in my mind for a while, and I decided to make a video on it. So, I'll see you all later. Bye!